And John Fung used to say, when you meditate, you need to have your own internal teacher. The teacher makes sure that the students do their work, have their time to have their time to play, but also have their time to work. Make sure the job gets done. If you don't have that internalized teacher, the qualities of your mind can be like little kids in a school where the teacher's gone. They run around the room. Nothing gets done. And even though they're staying in the room, they're still not getting the work done. That they're not learning what they should be learning. So when you're off meditating under the trees, you want to make sure that it's as if the Buddha were right there, watching your mind. What kind of mind would you like to present to him? You know the story of Sona, who got very discouraged from doing too much walking meditation, to the point where his feet were hurting. And he thought, I put all this effort in, and not getting any results, maybe I should disrobe. And the Buddha immediately appeared in front of him. You can imagine how he felt. Of course, he said that you're trying to tune your effort into your, the energy you have. In this case, with walking and meditation, don't wear yourself out. You're not here to wear yourself out. You're here to gain understanding of the mind. And that can happen in any posture, in any situation. That's the kind of teacher you want to have, is one who makes sure that you are watching your mind with every situation, regardless of what activity you're involved in. That's the wise teacher. As a wise teacher doesn't keep the kids chained to their desks. She lets them out, takes them on field trips, but makes sure, make sure that it's educational all the time. So in the same way, and you're looking after your own mind. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make sure it's an educational experience. You're learning something about the, the tricks that your mind likes to play, and you're learning to see through them. You're learning that you don't have to fall for your greed and aversion and delusion as you have been in the past. When you see that, then everywhere you go, it, you're on a field trip. And when you're in the room, you're getting your work done. And this way you develop the skills and the knowledge that you want.